Hey everybody! You want to do a sewing video? <laughs> Joy here. Who else? Um, and it's Saturday and it's uh, February 6, 2021. I found this in my closet this morning. And these kind of tops, I have two that I bought years, years, I think I have four of them. There's two long sleeve, two, two um, short sleeve ones. And I bought them at Penny's 20 years ago. 15 years ago, a long time, before we even moved here. So, um, when I wear them, you always love them. And you say, you look better in that top than anything else. You should wear that all the time. It looks good on you. So, I bought this pattern, which is this. Jaylee makes lots of patterns to use with knits. And, of course, I have lots and lots of knits. And so, I bought this. And you can see how I keep it in my package. And on the back... There's a picture of me, so I know this is the right pattern, praise the Lord. And it says, 22819 perfect fit. So that was over a year ago when I made this. Is that like two years ago? 19 to 20 and 20 to 20, that's like two years ago that I made it. But I'm still going to use it the way it was. Now I noticed this morning in the mirror that the side seam hikes to the front. And the back wants to grab my butt and get stuck on it. So, why is that? Who knows why that is? Raise your hand, raise your hand. It's because this needs a sway back correction in it. There's too much fabric right here. When I pull this up, you can see it doesn't grab my butt anymore. And it makes the side seam straight on the side. So I said, I want to make that again. I'm going to make it right now, and I'm going to make something blue for the Soul Away the Blues Challenge. So, I found this fun, 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 fun fabric, and uh, decided I'm going to use it. So, I wanted to show you, again, I've shown you this several times, but I wanted to show you this detail. This is the Clara. You can tell it's a PDF, and I had to cut it out and tape it together. I have made this ten times. It is the easiest easiest pattern to make except for this little piece right here now the first time I sewed this piece in I sewed it in upside down <laughs> so I'm going to show you how this little piece works because it's really super super easy but this is the whole pattern this is it this is the front the back both legs everything so I'm going to put the camera down here, and I'm going to show you how you put this gusset in, okay? Okay, so when you get this big, long thing laying out on your table, you're going to go, oh my goodness, where's the front, where's the back, where's the top, where's the bottom? So I want to show you what we know about this pattern. We know that the center front is on the fold. That's the center front. See, there's no crotch here. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. <sighs> So anyway, this is the center front. We know it's on the fold. So the other side must be the back, right? <laughs> so the back is where you're going to sew on the gusset. So if you will remember that this little round part here, let me see how far back do I have to get to show you. The round part goes, <laughs> I'm sorry how awful this looks. The round part's going to go right here. And so you know that you're going to have to sew this round part to the front. Okay, that really helps me get this right. So when you sew it onto the back, you make sure that the round part points down. Okay, the round part points down. So we're simply going to put this here, right here on the back. And we're going to sew a quarter inch seam here. Then we're going to put the two backs together and sew the other side on. So I'll show you how I do it, okay? All right, so see how funny it is? Isn't it just funny, funny looking? <laughs> so we know this is where the fold was. So this funky, itty bitty, little teeny tiny curve right there, that's the crotch. That's where this rounded part, this rounded part is going to sew on right there. It doesn't look like it would ever go there, but it will. That is where that's going to go. So we're going to put this on the back first. And there's directions, although they're, at the first time I did it, I told you I put it upside down. Here's the back. 
How do we know this is the back? Because we know this is the front because of the center fold. So what you do, and I suggest you do this on a table, not in the air over your lap. Do it on a table where things are flat because this is very stretchy material. The material has to be very stretchy, very stretchy. See how stretchy it is? You're going to make leggings. If it's not, it will rip. Every time you put it on, the seams will pop. Alrighty, so we're going to take this little thing and we're going to put it right sides together and we're going to make sure the round part is here where it's going to sew to the front. So we're going to put that right there. I've got to go. Jerry's waiting for me. It's 11.45. No, I've got 15 minutes. Okay. We're not going to stretch it. We're not going to stretch it. See that little notch right there? It goes underneath this notch. This is the waist up here. This is the waist. It's going to go around my belly. It's way high in the back because of my sway back and low in the front because of my belly. I know. Oh, and I want to show you something else I do. This is a really, really good tip. Let me show you what I do. Get a friction marker. Not a friction pen. I'm throwing away all my friction pens. They're worthless. The ink runs out so fast in them. But you see this point right here? This point is complicated to know where to start and stop sewing. So what I do is I take my quarter inch Take something where you've got a quarter inch because the seams are a quarter inch in this and line it up on that point. That's quarter inch right there. Do dots if it won't draw. It's knit and it's scrunchy. But it's very important that you know where this point is. It's hard to draw on knits because they don't want to be still. If I had it on the table, it might be different. And if I had it on a piece of paper, it might be different. But remember, this is a curly, curly, super stretchy knit. If you can't do it with that thing, it might work better with a different ruler. If one doesn't work, try a different one. And this ruler right here is awesome because it has, see, now that holds it down better. And so I could draw it. Yeah. This ruler is really good because it's got one eighth inch lines. And a lot of rulers do not have that. Why do you need that when you're sewing a quarter inch? Well, you don't. But you need it when you're doing something that needs an eighth inch. <laughs> Slow and careful will save you time later. You can see how curly it is, but see here where that point is? That's where I'm going to sew, and I'm going to go up this side, and I'm going to go up this side, and I need to know to stop at that point right there. Now up here there's no point, you just sew off the edge. Okay, so we're going to come back here, we make sure the round part is toward the front. We know this isn't the front, so we know it doesn't go that way. All right, so we are going to pin this back on. Remember, we pin where our seam line is. My seam line's not at 5 eighths inch here. So I'm pinning at a quarter inch. And I'm pinning them kind of backwards. When you're working with knits, you might want to try littler pins. I actually have a package of pins that are called knit pins, and they're short. But I don't like them. I can make these work, so... But there is such a thing as pins for knits. If you're interested, you know, there's even pins for bugs. Do you know that? To pin a bug on something? Well, I don't pin bugs on anything. <laughs> All right. Maybe you can see now that I have it pinned. See? There it is. I am going to sew right down here to that point. Then I'm going to backstitch to make it stay. Then I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to come way over here to the other side of the back that has the same notch and the same point, and we're going to sew it over here. See how that works? Yeah, it's really very simple if you understand. <laughs> number one, what it's for. Number two, where it goes. 
Number three, that it's complicated, stretchy, stretchy fabric. Okay, I gotta go to lunch with sideburns. I'll be back. Okay, I just got back from lunch. It has been 60 and 70 degrees here day after day. Today, we went to lunch. It was like 42 or 45 when we went to lunch. It's now like 36. The temperature is dropping fast and it's wet outside. Anyway, I'm going to finish these now. I want to show you where we're at. You can look here and see where I have sewn. And I always use a little zigzag when sewing knit. It looks like it's a little bit off right there, but it doesn't matter for a guess. It doesn't matter. See how I sewed to the point? Now what you do, and this is a little odd and you have to take your time. If you don't take your time, you'll end up doing it over and over. Now be sure you're at the top of the pants and not the side. <laughs> See how big the top is? Because it goes all the way around you, you understand. So. You can see there's the center front where the circle is, right here where my nose is. That's, that's the center front. <laughs> then these are the backs. So I'm going to fold the backs to each other. We're going to line up our two notches here in the back. Now we've only sewn that gusset on one side so far. Quarter inch seams. If you do bigger than quarter inch seams in this garment, you will have to give it to a teenager or a child because it will be way too little. <laughs> All right, so we're going to pin the back together. We're going to sew that seam. The last time I made these pants, I had to take a bunch out of the back, so I have narrowed the back of the pattern now. All right, so you see now this piece has the gusset. This piece doesn't. See, here's the gusset. Here's the other side. They're going to go together. They're going to go together like that. Does that make sense? That's how they're going to go together. You have to line this up to the gusset. Hello. My fingers are so cold they don't want to function. <laughs> Let me get a pen. Oh my goodness. This is wonderful fabric. It's beautiful. This is an IT wit. It's an IT knit. <laughs> I did not have anything to drink. I only have wine like once a month, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Somebody said, do you just get the wine every time you get stressed? Oh, dear Lord, no. I'd be drinking gallons a day. Okay. <laughs> so now you see how the little gusset's in there, and the other side is pinned to the other side of the back, and we are just going to sew to that point right there from the inside okay so we're going to sew here on this part of the gusset we're going to sew 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 and then we're going to keep going down the rest of the center back seam i'll show it to you when i get it sewn i'm rolling my needle i rolled my needle right down on that little point where i made those two lines that cross each other Okay, so now I am going to sew up that side. I'm going to back up and make sure it's locked. Then I'm going to slowly sew. Slowly. Sometimes I sew really, really fast. Other times I go really, really slow. And this is one of those really, really slow times. Why aren't I sewing with the serger? Because I cannot control a serger. And I cannot get it to sew a perfect quarter inch. So, this does not ravel at all. The seams are one quarter inch, so there's no reason to use the serger. All right, let me show you here how we have it now. This will really help you if you make these pants. See there? That's the gusset. This is one back, this is the other back. Right back, left back, I don't know which is which. Here's the other side. So now I'm simply going to sew up the rest of this back seam right there. All right, quarter inch, quarter inch, little zigzag. I have my zigzag on one. I have my stitch length on three. And sometimes your fabric wants to pull. 
just let it. I'm going to hurt it if it pulls a little bit. Fix it when you can. All right, here we are. We're coming near the gusset, and my hand's right in your way. So, you can see, here's the point of the gusset right here. That's it. So, it's going to be sticking out, and I am going to sew to the point, and then I'm going to stop. I can see it very good because I can see where my stitches were before. There we go, I just crossed them. I'm gonna go over it again. I don't have a cutter in this machine. So now the back seam is all done. See the back seam? So there's the waist. Lift it up, and then you come down to the crotch. There's the gusset. This is between the two backs, between the legs, on the butt. We are going to join it to this little bitty curve. Do you see that little curve right there? Do you see how I have stitched it a quarter inch? That's because we're going to have to snip it to get it to match the gusset. I'm going to put a snip right there in the center. So now I know that's the center of the front crotch and the center of the gusset is going to match up with that. See, there's the front, there's the gusset. They go together just like that. Isn't that easy? It's easy once you know how to do it. When I first read the instructions, I thought, what the heck? <laughs> See there, I, I put a few clips in there. It allows it to stretch. So before I sew the leg, they tell you to, to sew all the way up the leg, through the crotch, and all the way down the other leg. I'm not doing it that way because I have a hard time getting it to meet in the middle if I do it like that. Okay? So I do it like this, and I sew it in the middle. This is the fussy part. I'm still going to leave it on that little zigzag. I've got the pins in there. Some machines don't like pins. The older machines can jump pins pretty good, believe it or not. The computerized machines don't like to jump anything. Yeah, that's straight. I have only sewn from this notch over to here. Okay, so I've sewn the gusset on from here to here. I started in the center and sewed to here. Now I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to sew from the center again to the other side of that gusset. So here's the crotch. I've only done the gusset part. So now I'm gonna sew all the way down one leg and all the way down the other leg. All right, I've already sewn one leg. I'm sewing the last leg. Watch my hands and see how I put my hands. I don't even know how I put my hands. My hands just know because I've done it so many times. So watch my hands and how I control the fabric because the fabric wants to pull apart. You can't see me when I put my hands in front of it. The fabric wants to pull apart. The top wants to pull off the bottom. Does that make sense? And I don't want it to. I want these two things to be right exactly on top of each other. So I'm going to show you how I do my hands. Also, when I do the legs, I have learned that it's important to put a bigger zigzag you need to be able to take the legs and stretch them like this. I did not use that big a zigzag up there in the crotch. It didn't matter. That part's not going to stretch very much putting it off and on. And I did use a small zigzag. My zigzag's on one and a half and my stitch length's on three. When you pull your leg, you need to be able to go like this. Because when you pull these pants on, you will be pulling them like that. And I cannot tell you how many times I've had to come up here after I put my pants on and sew them together because they have split out somewhere. So, probably if I used a serger, that wouldn't be a problem, but like I said, I can't get a serger to sew um, exactly at a quarter inch, so I just use my sewing machine. Get very, very, very important in knits. Get it up on the table. Get it up here, everything up 
on something so it can't hang down. I don't have anything hanging down. You can't see the down part, but this comes down and then underneath, uh, this comes down and then underneath this thing. It's on the table, okay? Because you don't want it hanging because it stretches so much. And it will distort, okay? See this hand back here? This hand's, I'm not pulling it, I'm just kind of guiding it. And then this hand is holding the two pieces together. And again, some people aren't this picky. <laughs> They'll put it through surgery. And if it's three eighths in some places, and a quarter in some places, and an eighth in some places, they don't care. And I'm using a stretch needle. This is the needle I'm using right here. I tried a ballpoint, it wouldn't sew. If you have problems, especially with skip stitches, I had skip stitches all over the place with this very machine. One of the problems was my thread was ancient. I have thread I bought when my daughter was a baby, and my daughter's 50 years old. She might be 52 by now. She's 18 years younger than I am. <laughs> Look how much they stretch on the thread. There's the gusset all sewn in. All right, so here's my pant. Let me back you up some more. Yes, my sinuses are awful today. I know I sound like a drowned cat. <clears throat> I feel like a drowned cat too. <laughs> there they are. This is the back because it's higher. Now, some of you probably might want the front higher and the back lower, but on me, because of my sway back, I have to have the back higher. And you can see it's quite a bit higher. I actually, when I made the very first pair, discovered that. I thought, well, what the heck? Why are they so low in the back? So I actually added, you see this piece of paper right here? I actually added that on to the back. But the front was fine the way it was. See? I don't understand it, but that's what I did. So, I'm going to go try them on. I just ate a great big Mexican food supper with rice and beans and everything. And um, so my belly's as puffy as it ever gets, which is a good time to try your pants on and see how big you want the elastic. Because if you're my age, um, you're probably like me and your, your mid-range area gets bigger during the day. Mine gets quite a bit bigger during the day. I'd say at least an inch, maybe more. I'll be back. We're going to sew the elastic on now. Now, I simply put the elastic around my waist. That's all I did. I'll show you the elastic in a second that I use, but I'm here at the machine now. I have pinned the elastic to the top of the waistband on the wrong side. The wrong side, because it's going to be folded to the wrong side. See? So we're just going to stitch along the top, and we're going to use a zigzag. This waistband's got to stretch now. It's going across your tummy. <laughs> and the biggest part of you. So it needs to be able to stretch. Now, you need to be sure you can see. So I am going to line my foot up so my elastic is riding right in here next to this toe. Here's my elastic and here's the toe. Okay. I'm going to check to see where it's going to swing to. It looks like it's going to swing just fine. I'm going to make it a little bit fatter. I'm putting it on two and a half. And I'm going to backspace real quick. Backspace. Joy, you're not typing. <clears throat> okay, then I'm going to cut the extra thread. Then I'm going to stretch and sew the whole way around. Why do I have the elastic on the top? You're supposed to put the more stable piece on the top. You just want to make sure that the bottom is there. <laughs> you want to make sure it's there before you sew.
There's the outside. The elastic is on the inside sewn along the top. You would think that we would need to sew on the bottom of the elastic, but we're not because that's going to end up at the top. Now you can sew it if you want to, but I have not been doing it and it's worked just fine. So now I'm just going to pin this here and there to make sure that it stays put. Making sure it's folded over properly. You don't want it, you know, folded over like this or like this or, you know, you want to make sure everything's neat and straight. You can do it now or you can rip it out and do it later. <laughs> you learn. You learn, learn. And I understand as long as you're learning something, it's going to keep you from getting Alzheimer's. Or dementia, which is pretty much the same thing. There's a whole bunch of different kinds of dementia. So I have heard. Sure feel sorry for people. I don't know, though. I don't know if it's that hard on the people because they don't know anything. They don't even know what's going on at the time. <laughs> but, boy, it's hard on the caretakers. Okay. Reline up your needle position. I'm going to clear mine. Then I'm going to move it all the way over to the left. Then I'm going to put it back on a big zigzag. I'll just choose zigzag here. Now, that's clear on three. I don't think I want it on three, although it might be okay. Let's see how big three is. Look at your needle and check it. That looks pretty good. So I'm just going to leave it on where it wants to be, but I'm going to make the stitch length longer. Otherwise, the zigzags would have been very, very close together. You don't want that. You want them spread out. Make your garments look homemade. All right. There's the front. And there's the back. And see? See, I can pull it as far as it'll go and it won't break. Because of the zigzag stitches. Yeah, you could serge it too. But you can't serge what I just did. Serger won't do that. But I just, I prefer to sew it with a sewing machine because I... I just think it's easier to see, easier to control, and all of that. So there's my pants, all done. I'm going to put a hem in the bottom, and I'm going to start on the top, and I'm going to see who's texting me. I'll be back. I finished my outfit. Not without some complications. What would life be without some complications? I decided to use my other um, cover stitch machine today. I have two. So I used the other one yesterday, and, or was it the day before, and it had all these things wrong with it, and I had to rethread it. Well, this one, I thought, was working right. I found this fabric in my stash. This blue. Becky, don't pass out. <laughs> Becky can't stand anybody to rock or, or wiggle her stuff. She gets seasick. <laughs> I picked Philly up one time. Billy came and surprised me one time after work, and her boss, who both worked at our company, but her boss told her she could have the afternoon off, and I thought Philly and I were just going to have lunch, and she came and she said, well, I'm here for the afternoon, and I picked her up, you know, she's only this tall, so I picked her up and twirled her around, she about passed out. <laughs> I love to go around, I just love to go around, I could go around for hours. I just love it. I love swinging and I love going around. So anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh yes, I used my second, my other cover stitch machine today. And I fiddled with it for a little bit and I used a sample and it looked really, really good. But, another tip. <laughs> no wonder I have so many tips and make so many screw ups. Um, 
don't just look at the top when you're doing a sample. Look at the underside also. <laughs> so I don't know what happened. The underside, it's all, it looks like a rat brought his friends over and chewed on it. it it's just strange, <laughs> the bottom side of it. But it seems to be staying in. So I'm happy. And it's one more blue thing for the Sew Away the Blues. Hey, you got until the 13th. Today's the 6th. So how many more days till the 13th? That would be seven, wouldn't it? So you have seven more days to make something for the Sew Away the Blues Challenge. $100 first prize, $50 second prize from... The second prize is a gift card from Fabric Mart Fabrics. The first prize is $100 from me and from Viv. Okay? So, I just posted this on Instagram, but um, I put this top on this morning to do my devotional. Not this one, but one that I made in two years ago. I think I showed it at the beginning of this video. And I liked it so much, I thought, oh, I want to make that again. So I thought, I'll go make something blue, and then I can put it on Instagram for the Be So In Challenge. <laughs> it's the end of the day, and I'm giddy as always. It's time for my shake. I have had too much to eat. We ate Mexican food today mm, at lunch. And um, I found this bottle, jar of chocolate-covered almonds. And somehow they got up here in my sewing room. <laughs> All right. I'm going to let you go. Remember, this is both Jaylee Jaylee. Jaylee Jaylee. The top isn't perfect yet. It isn't perfect. I don't know. I don't, it's, of course, you know, I've lost 10 pounds. So, I don't know. But who cares? I mean, it's just to wear around the house for comfortable, and the leggings are leggings, and, and who cares if the top is a little full on the bottom. It fits me really good up here, I think. Got some little pleats going on here, but I don't care. It's just the style. All right, my friends. Love you. I'll be back soon. Bye for now.